Guide to Life is all about having a baby part two. And yeah, so I'm about um, seven and a half months pregnant now, about close to eight, I guess. And I'm here at Mother Care because, you know, I'm a first time mom. And yeah, Mother Care has this fantastic program called the Nursery Advisory Program. And it's completely free for anyone who signs up at their website. So, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna have sort of like an expert to sort of tell me what I need to get every single thing. So, to get completely prepared lah. So I'm quite excited today so I get to choose all my future baby's accessories and stuff that we need. So I'm here with Amy, she's the nursery advisor from Mother Care. So I guess we, where do we start Amy? Okay, um, usually I'll start with the clothing, so you get the most attractive items to start with. So basic essential what we look at will be little vests like this. I guess looking at the baby clothes, it always makes me a little bit depressed because I guess I'm having a boy and then the girls' clothes are a lot nicer la, and I love all the pink stuff and the floral print and the tutu skirts and stuff like that. And so in comparison, the boys' clothes have like trains and blue stuff, bugs, I don't know, yeah, stuff like that. So it's, it's a bit hard for me to feel very excited about it. Next time we'll get a girl, okay? And you can go girl shopping. Next time, you say, yeah, I blame Mike for this, completely blame him. It's okay, I still love you. I just don't really like buying clothes for you. Yeah, I guess some people will say that like I'm being very mean because like what if later my son sees this and then he will feel that I don't want him lah. Actually, it's not true lah. I mean, I, I love like, I think a baby boy is as cute as a baby girl. It's just that the clothing choice is obviously baby girl's clothes are cuter what? And yeah, I'm gonna call a spit a spit lah, you know. So what we want to talk about in this section is actually purely focusing on yourself right okay. now, okay? So what we want to look at will be like knitting bras. I guess when you're pregnant, your breasts like get bigger and then it's just really, 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 really uncomfortable to wear bras. And now I look at those like nursing bras, they all look very comfortable. They look like they'll be my friend. Yeah, but maybe you shouldn't bring your husband there because it's not very sexy, I guess. Here is actually the feeding section. So what we want to look at will be breast pump. If you intend to breastfeed, generally speaking, you might expect some sore nipples or cracked nipples. So you want to keep them moisturised. So nipple creams is one of the essential things that you want to consider. If baby consume it, it's yeah. actually fine. It's very light, not much of a fragrance. <laughs> it tastes a bit sweet. The nipples are like a lot bigger now and um, I guess they also turn a little bit darker. Like, and, but I can't remember the colour from before already. I'm a little bit regretting, right? Not taking nudie photos because I feel like my boobs have changed forever. And then you can see like this like like veins. Because like your uh, you need more like blood flowing through your body during pregnancy. So like your all your veins like pop out. Not really pop out but look more um, obvious. So you can see like the green veins like leading around the boobs. It's just it's not attractive, it's very motherly. <laughs> oh, there's a nipple protector thing, so you can actually put this on your boobs. Then it won't get the, like, cracked and stuff. I think if you breastfeed at all, your nipples will become pretty long. You know, it's not as nice as before or whatever. And yeah, I cannot really be bothered much about it, leh, I guess. The only person who will probably care about it is Mike. And he just has to accept it, lah, because it's for his son, right? So, yeah. The only bad thing is if he ever leaves me, no, then I have to find another man who probably has to accept my nipples. <laughs> Why am I thinking about this? These bad thoughts. I shouldn't think about this. No. So this section is actually the baby bath section. This is the baby bath. Oh, so All right. cute. Once the baby is born, I plan to take care of him myself most of the time. But for the first uh, maybe one or two months, uh, my mom will be staying with us and she will help me take care of baby, sort of like a confinement lady and she will help me cook stuff. Uh, Chinese have a lot of uh, superstition about confinement. They say cannot touch water, otherwise you get rheumatism and stuff like that, right? So she actually told me uh, for the first one month, I cannot bathe my baby at all and she's going to do it for me because I, I should not try to get like my hands wet if possible. Yeah, so I feel a bit jealous because I think bath time it sounds like it's quite fun. So after you prepare all the bath equipment, the next thing you want to look at is the toiletries. One wash, baby lotion, baby powder as well, nappy cream, nappy disposable bin. Pretty overwhelmed by the uh, amount of stuff that's been thought about and, and considered, uh, all these different uh, accessories that are required for pregnancy. I think about, uh, you know, a long time ago, 
But before all this occurred, you know, people would just pop out a baby and then continue with life. And uh, it's, it's just, it's, yeah, overwhelming. This section is actually all about the strollers. So you need it, especially when you go out and about. So this is actually from the baby jogger, City Mini. And one of the main selling features is that when you collapse it, it's actually very small. Okay. It's very easy to do it. Wow, okay, so smart. I guess if it's up to Mike, you will actually pick a stroller that is the most gadgety, transformable yeah, kind of stroller. If you can change into like a, a robot or something, he will confirm super love it. All. Now most of the time, if you're travelling out alone, you might not actually bring a stroller out with you. Mm. So what you can consider right now is actually a carrier. Mm. They actually have very nice back support. As for the carrier, I guess, I'm going to have at least two, like one for him and one for me. If I, I don't want to carry a black one, I, it's like mine and I bring the baby out myself. Oh, I see a pink one here. No, it's so nice. Okay, so this is the end of the session. I hope you like everything. Yes, very informative. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so we've come to the end of the episode and it's quite overwhelming. So much preparation to do, but at least I know what I have to do now and know what I have to buy and get ready for uh, the baby's arrival and you know when I first started like getting pregnant and stuff I just thought it's going to take such a long time for the baby to arrive but in the blink of an eye suddenly soon like really soon and my whole life is going to change and my house is going to change yeah, I couldn't help but thinking the whole time about how uh, different it is now than it must have been, you know, in, in ancient history or uh, 200 years ago. It's so easy now, right? It should be really easy. Go and die. <laughs> you give birth, ah. It's so easy. <laughs> <laughs>